Just kidding, I'm still gonna use them sometimes. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Wobby Cycles. Feel free to stick around till the end of the video to learn more about them. Back to brakeless, back to basics. My fixed gear is down to the bare minimum components that you need for a functioning bike. First time I rode a brakeless fixed gear, I felt an incredible connected feeling with the bike. I know it sounds dumb, but it's that feeling where you and the bike feel like one. That feeling where once you start pedaling the bike, you have total control over it. You know exactly how it's going to handle and how it's going to respond to your every input. And while riding with the brake, I've just felt a bit more disconnected from that feeling that I love from fixed gears in the first place. And honestly, when I'm riding my fixed gear with the brake, it kind of just feels like I'm riding a road bike. And I know you may be wondering, well, Zach, why don't you just use your brake for emergency situations and still have it on there so you could have the best of both worlds. The problem with that is though, when I have this thing, I tend to rely on it a bit too much for my liking. And you may say, that's a personal problem. And you're right, that's why I took this thing off. On top of that, I found that relying on a front brake all the time actually makes me a worse cyclist. Having a brake and relying on a brake makes me a reactive cyclist as opposed to a proactive cyclist, meaning that I tend to rely on the brake a lot more than I should, and I tend to get myself into a lot of situations where I have to rely on my brake. With the front brake, I tend not to look as far ahead as much, I tend not to plan my riding around the flow of traffic as much, and I tend to get into more sketchy situations than I should because I feel like I can rely on the front brake to bail me out. Contrast that to riding a brakeless fixed gear. Having the utmost awareness of surroundings is absolutely key. If you let your mind slip, it's very likely that you'll get hurt. And it's that engagement with the bike and with the environment is that makes brakeless fix your riding so fun to me and because of that you have to be proactive as a brakeless fix your rider and at least i tend not to get into as many hairy situations because i'm planning and being much more deliberate with my riding and traffic also while riding with front brake i had one of the worst crashes of my cycling career and luckily still one of my worst crashes is pretty mild, but it wouldn't have happened if I didn't have a break. I was barreling down a street trying to catch a light because I felt, hey, if I don't make it, my brake can stop me in time. The problem is there was about a 70 year old lady on a scooter in front of me who did not want to catch the light. So I squeezed my front brake as hard as I possibly could, pulled out a skid in the rear, but it still wasn't enough stopping power to prevent me from crashing into this old lady. And I ended up taking a pretty sizable chunk of skin on her arm off and she was bleeding pretty badly. Luckily she was very nice about it and just started making small talk with me, which people in Taiwan are too nice. But if I was riding brakeless in that situation, I am fairly confident that I would not have crashed into that old lady. And I'm confident that I would have just swerved out of the way so I can make it through the intersection rather than relying on my bike's stopping power, which gave me a false sense of security in this situation. And I know this just sounds like fixie tomfoolery breaks or death. Fuck, dude. Should have backpedaled more. <laughs> See, brakes are death, yo. Brakes are actually death. But I feel safer and I have more fun riding brakeless. But right now I've got to get my Hipster AF NJS bottom bracket fixed. Because the NJS bottom brackets, as I've been saying, yet I still bought one, are not great. <laughs> So join me on my brakeless rides of Faith Gear, and hopefully, no, definitely, I won't be crashing into any old ladies today, and hopefully I can dodge the rain, so let's get going. Feels pretty good to be riding brakeless again. Don't get me wrong, I like brakes. For a lot of situations. Namely, when carrying a lot of stuff. Or, when going down a mountain. Because I am not confident enough in my abilities to bomb hills. Especially hills I'm not familiar with. 
the brakes are great for that. But brakeless, man, just forces you to ride smarter. Man, already, I can feel myself just naturally being much more aware of my surroundings, checking every single corner, checking behind me. I just know what's up a bit more naturally when I ride brakeless. So it's more entertaining for you guys. It's more entertaining for me. I like having complete control, not relying on a lever. Oh, can't stop, can't stop, can't stop. Running the red, killing the pads. Look out, everybody. I have a messenger bag. I've been reading your guys' comments on my Just Riding video where I asked you why you guys like to ride brakeless and you all pretty much said the same things that I said in this video. That riding brakeless on a fixed gear just feels a lot more zen, it makes it a lot more fun and that connected feeling, that pure joy of feeling like you're one with the bike is exactly why you ride brakeless. But why exactly does brakeless fixed gear riding feel so zen for a lot of us and more importantly should you ride your fixed gear brakeless because riding a fixed gear demands so much of your attention in order for you to just not hurt yourself and to navigate the bicycle properly at least for me and i'm guessing for many of you riding a brakeless fixed gear is a lot easier to get into what's called the flow state as opposed to riding something with brakes or even gears. In Mihaly's last name, who I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, is Look Flow. He describes flow as the state in which people are so involved in an activity that nothing else seems to matter. The experience itself is so enjoyable that people will do it even at great cost for the sheer sake of doing it. It's that state where you're so deeply involved in what you're doing that everything else around you seems to melt away but at the same time you're extremely acutely aware of what's going on in your body and the environment and how you're performing different actions on a brakeless fix here it feels like pure focus and this is what people are describing when they say that they feel like they are one with the bike feel the chain the tension how fast the pedals are rotating and how that translates into your forward movements or how your bike is reacting to your back pedaling when you're trying to stop. You can hear every single little rattle, click. You can feel the road through the tires, through the handlebars, through your saddle, and how exactly how you're riding affects how your bike is vibrating and coming to life. And all these things on a brakeless fixed gear more easily for a lot of us come together in pure harmony and pure focus. And it's exactly this state of flow and attentiveness is what makes riding a fixed gear so addictive for the people that just get it. So should you ride your fixed gear brakeless? Well, as far as safety goes and how exactly to do that, I made a video right here explaining just that. If you feel that you don't have the same connection with your bike or are getting the same enjoyment out of your bike where it feels like you're flying and that you're in complete control, the thing that makes riding a fixed gear so dang fun in the first place, then try it up. The thing is with brakeless though, there aren't too many people that are on the fence about it. People that like brakeless pretty much already know whether they like to ride brakeless or not. And people that like to have the security and the peace of mind of having a brake know what they prefer as well. Brakeless riding definitely is not for everybody. And I would even say that it's not for most people. For most people, riding a bike on its own is already an engaging and physically strenuous activity enough. But if you find yourself getting bored on your fixed gear and maybe it's getting a little bit stale. And trying out brakeless in a safe and smart way can very well help you to re-fall in love with cycling. Let me know your preference for riding your fake gear with a brake, two brakes, no brakes, and why that is in the comments below and let's keep the discussion going. Speaking of riding your bike exactly the way you want, our channel sponsor Wobby Cycles can help you to get on a bike that rides exactly the way you want. Every one of Wobby's design choices are meticulously made to give the purest ride quality for the money and Wobby executes those choices perfectly with handmade craftsmen right here in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that's eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike that is right for you. This makes for efficient, elegant, and 
timeless bikes that you can get from a passionate, helpful group of fellow cyclists. And also Wobby's absolute relentless attention to detail results in my Wobby special, 58 centimeters, weighing in at 17.5 grams or just a hair under eight kilograms, straight out of the box with no carbon components. It results in the best riding experience I've ever had with the snappy, lively ride quality that only top tier steel can bring. And that pure fun makes it easy to ride my Wobby special as my only bike. If you're looking for the bike that could very well put an end to your search for the perfect bike, consider checking out our channel sponsor, Wobby Cycles, linked in the description. And Fixie Famous shoutouts to Stan Strong 108, Crooks, Ryan Witz, Julian Corona, I don't know how you prefer me to pronounce your name, or Eric Avalo, for helping to make these Fixie videos possible through their support on Patreon.